All right, here is a tour of the smoker that we built. Now, as you'll notice right there, that is what you think it is. It is a hair dryer. On that hair dryer is plumbing that goes into the bottom of the firebox. Here's the firebox. We've got a good fire going. Now, on top of that firebox is my water tray. And my water tray is like so. Look in there and you can see that water boiling. That smoke is transferred into the smoker via three two inch pipes. This is just a regular Kingsford charcoal grill that we uh, put on top of the smoker on the top of the firebox we built. You can see how it sets up in there. Now what you're seeing there is a dial control for the hair dryer. Turns it up, turns it down. So I can adjust the airflow. The reason I got it up so high right now is I just added the water to it. And there is the heart of the situation. That's temperature control. Just regular temperature control from an electric skillet. I got this one dialed in to shut off right at 220 and the reason being is that I'm cooking chicken. And underneath that foil right there is my spare ribs. Down there on the left, underneath the chicken, is my brisket. In the middle is my pork butt. And here on the right side is ham. Now the reason I built that the way I've built that is I don't like the meat drying out. So I want to be able to uh, keep the meat moist. See there's briskets on the left, pork butt in the middle, and the ham is on the right. Just filled it up with its water. And uh, we're getting there. That's a good smoking temperature. Uh, you know, we're about 190 degrees. Really not a problem with that. But this is thermostatically controlled. It is shut off. Turn itself back on. That firebox will support eight, nine hours of wood at about 180 degrees. That's what I did last night with the smoker is uh, I put that brisket on last night all wrapped up covered up seasoned and uh, that brisket's been on there for about 11 hours now so yeah I took a Kingsford $130 charcoal grill and made it a hell of a lot better you can sit there and build boxes all day long but you can't build a box for 130 bucks it's gonna have the cast iron grates the upper rack plus the charcoal grate that it came with I use it as a third level of cooking so stacking everything up you know what they say if you're looking you ain't cooking so let's shut it up thermostatically controlled stainless steel legs the handle there for the firebox just a just a welding hammer handle handle on the front handle on the back identical to it kind of move it around I've got less than $400 in this smoker. Like I said, the water table is immediately above it. The firebox, so it's putting moisture to it. It's steaming at the same time. It's going to struggle a bit to get up there to 220 degrees, but once it's there, it's going to shut itself off, and that's the beauty of it.